Gentlemen, this video has been a long time in the making. I'm making it to address the news stories and rumors that are coming out that Facebook is developing mind reading software. And I want to tell you that they've already been doing it. They do it wirelessly through Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on your cell phones, your computers, your devices. And this talk that they want to build a device uh, for future use is complete nonsense. It is actually just distracting you that they're putting billions of dollars into this and they've already been using it in advertising. A lot of you have already probably caught them in that. Um, I want to show you how a little bit of how this technology works, okay? Right here, I have a real-time analyzer on my screen. I'm an audio engineer and a musician. We use these in concerts to be able to uh, keep the, the concert level at a comfortable level so we don't injure people's hearing. And also so it's uh, comfortable, so it's smooth here in the frequencies and it's not sticking out too, too much treble or too much bass or low mid. It makes you kind of sick. Um, and we can do that in individual channels and we can do it in an overall mix. Um, over here on the left hand side is the decibel uh, levels, okay? So that's the volume. Down here, this is the pitch. That's the note, all right? That's the frequency. So a lot of you have heard about A440. That is the standard tuning that we do for concerts. So all instruments and musicians know what to tune to. Uh, we could have settled on anything, just like units of time or units of measurement. We have to uh, settle on units of frequency in order for us to play in tune with each other. So A440 is what the world standard is. So I'm going to uh, play on my, uh, my synth pad here. This is an A. I'm playing a chord right here. It's picking up those frequencies, okay? Obviously, it's a bunch of frequencies. Um, there's one other element in this. That's two-dimensional. You have the volume. You have the, the pitch. There's a third element in this that's not being shown on your screen, and that's language. See, on, on the synthesizer, you're just hearing notes. It's just noise. But a human voice has speech. It has meaning. It has intent, okay? And all I know all of you have probably used your phone at one time or another to do speech to text, where you hit the little microphone and you're able to uh, speak into your phone if you're driving and send a text message. So your phone can analyze your voice and turn it into text. Now this right here, this is the range of human hearing basically. Uh, you have whales in the ocean that can hear down below this and way above it. Some of them can hear up to 200K and uh, down to 16 Hertz. Uh, and, and humans don't have that much. Now understand that a computer can hear things and see things that the human body cannot. Uh, we can see uh, heat cameras. We can see infrared with, with certain uh, cameras. You can't see that with your own eye. All right, now your brain gives off brain waves. We can't hear those brain waves, but computers can hear them. Okay, it's just like your smartwatch or whatever that uh, determines your heart rate and everything. Your, your body is constantly giving off signals, your heartbeat and your, uh, your brain waves. And if you're asleep, they're, they're lower, uh, less intense. And if you're awake, they're, they're, much, uh, they're much higher, all right? And you need to understand that when we think thoughts, they actually have formation like words. They have that third dimension of language. And they've been doing research in universities all over the world for decades that is showing speech and thought patterns where if you think something, it looks pretty close on the same on the graph as it does to when you speak it. Now you got to understand that your throat is basically an amplifier. Okay. You have your thoughts, but your throat is your amplifier. And, um, it's your speaker basically. All right. And your ears, your ears are basically uh, antennas. You're, you're receiving audio into them. All right. So when we think and we give off our brain frequencies, that lets off, um, frequencies that can be analyzed by computers. Now that's, I believe why they have to push for wearables. It's not just convenience, but they're getting data on us. All right. And the other thing is, is that if they, um, if we end up getting chipped, they end up chipping people. That's going to be a permanent injunction into your body that they can tap into. Um, it's one of the reasons why you see world leaders want to go into a skiff, uh, the secure, uh, compartmentalized information center or something like that. They do that so they can't get anything in or out like on phones, but also so they can't uh, catch what they're saying or their brainwaves. All right. And it's another reason why you see world leaders um, like like uh, President Trump that would be on TV and he'd say something really crazy. And the next day or the next week, he'd do something completely the opposite, or he'd say things that were just totally sarcastic, uh, totally off the wall. 
That's how you throw off sensors, okay? And, and this is a way that warfare is being waged in a new way. It, this is more dangerous in some ways than, um, than nuclear weaponry because if you can think or see what people are thinking, like world leaders, you can go ahead of their actions. And um, they want to make thought crime a thing in the world. And, and uh, it's very dangerous that they're able to have access to this technology. So uh, knowledge is power. If you know that they're doing this, and you understand that it's happening, um, control your mind. Because if you don't control your mind, someone else will. Okay? Think positive thoughts. Stay in the Word. Be close to the Lord. Be in, be in touch with God. And, and don't uh, fall victim to anger and to uh, violent thoughts. Because even though you don't act on them, even though you don't speak them, they're still there. And as they continue to analyze us and, and change the laws to the and bring them up to the modern age where they're going to go after people... Uh, we just need to be aware that these things are happening and we can't stop it. This is not, we're not going to roll back this technology and no one's going to be able to just throw everything away and go in the woods. But this is a warning that uh, it's one thing to be able to do this with technology. If you want to put your phone away, if you want to get away from, from the tech, that's fine. But don't take a chip. Don't take any kind of interface that's going to control your mind or your spirit. Because if they can read frequencies, ultimately someday they're going to be able to write them. And, and they want access to your mind, and your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit, and you don't want to give access to the temple of the Holy Spirit over to any other person. This is a serious uh, sin against your body and against the Lord. So be very careful uh, going forward if anybody uh, tries to tell you that it's a good idea to do interfaces inside your body. Uh, wearable watch is one thing. Having a phone... That's another thing. It's just a tool. But when they start putting things in your body that are going to take you over, it's, it's a very dangerous precedent. So I just wanted to send out a warning to everyone, and uh, I hope this helps you, and please spread it far and wide.